Hey you guys. Hey you guys. Hey you guys. Hey, you guys. And I love that one. I'm gonna go read a book. Bye guys. Bye guys. Hey you guys. Yes. I'm still at the bookshelf. I'm still wearing the hat. I'm basically the exact same person as I was in the last video. Yes, I'm filming it at the same time. I'm getting all these out as soon as I possibly can for the simple fact that I won't have this camera that long. I still can't find my other camera's charger. So I'm doing as many videos so you have as many to watch. Cool beans. And today I'm talking about We Were Liars by E. Lockhart and this book I actually wasn't sure if I was going to finish. I picked it up along with my Zoella book group if you don't remember what I'm on about. I'm talking about, I think I did a booktube on it, a pack of 12 books if I remember correctly that had special orientated covers for Zoella because it was Zoella's top 12 books of 2016 or something so they all came out with different covers so all the bright places was now purple um, I've got fangirl that's in a yellow cover I don't know what's different with this one I've got everything everything which is the different cover that well the book I showed you last week last week earlier on this week that is pink writing instead of blue and yeah so it's different and it's pretty and honestly, I'm surprised at this. I really enjoyed it. I started reading it and I wasn't really into it. I was, it's so short, it's two, just over 200 pages and I was thinking, no, I'm not gonna get this done because the way it was written confused me. It's not written all poetically, it's not written in slang, it's not written badly at all it's actually beautiful writing now that I've finished it but the, it's an air of mystery I'll read the back for you just to show how vague it is in most way through the book we are liars we are beautiful and privileged we are cracked and broken a tale of love and romance a tale of tragedy which are lies which is truth you decide now reading the back of that actually made me think that it was gonna be one of those you pick what happens books so you read a bit and then you choose what happens so it gives you a list of options and then whichever option takes you to a certain page and then that happens that's what I thought it was but it was a bit too thin for that so when I read it I got into it it was like hmm, what it was really good I was actually crying at 3 a.m. Tuesday so this week basically the week I'm filming this, I was crying and my boyfriend was there going, why are you crying? I was there like, the book, the book made me cry. I'm not going to tell you why, because why should I spoil it for you? If you have not read this book, go check it out. It's literally a quick read. You could read it on the train. The reason why it took me so long is I didn't know how good it was until I sat down and finished it. I severely, honourably say, go read this book. It's very good and it tugs on the brain cells a little bit. You get a little bit confused. I'll give you a little bit of what the book's about. It's about a girl called Candice Sinclair and she's a part of a privileged family with lots of money and each year at summer they all go down to an island that their grandfather owns. One summer, I forgot the word, <laughs> one summer she wakes up to find out she can't remember the entire holiday and what had happened was she had hit her head and it had caused her to have amnesia and severe headaches. Now from there it's basically her trying to figure out what happened and you don't expect what happens until you read it and it's in cute little sections um, I'll try and find one of the section pages there. That one says look, oh I'll try and cover it. It's just like a blank page and it says look, uh, it has like the part and then a little writing thing. And that one's part four, look a fire. 
Um, so there's a little island picture that shows you the island that they live on, as well as the Sinclair family heritage line. And then part one is Welcome. And it's very, very well written. I do say you should go read it. So, all you non-story people, you have to leave. I love you dearly. And come back when you finish the book. Bye. So, all the non-spoiler people should have gone by now. If not, shame on you. I just went out of focus. But anyway, this book was oh, just so sad. Oh, the entire summer 16 and summer 17, they were dead. Mm. Now, I was reading part five, Truth. Now, through about to about from, well, about here, Obviously, as you know, we're talk um, she doesn't know what's happened. This is when she did know what was happening, this was before the accident, this is after the accident, this is the truth. And it's just, oh, the lines, the way they say it. Here's the truth about the beautiful Sinclair family, at least the truth as Grandad knows it. The truth he was careful to keep out of the newspapers. One night, two summers ago, on a warm July evening, Gatwick Matthew Patel, Mar Marine Sinclair Sheffield and Jonathan Sinclair Dennis perished in a house fire. Oh my god, that just hit me. When you get, you might understand if you're an avid book reader, you get moments where you're sitting and you don't expect something to happen and you don't jump, you don't suddenly shiver, but you feel a jolt of energy, you feel your eyes widen, you feel yourself tense slightly and you just feel this electrical energy just run from the top of your head right down to your toes and it just goes through all of you and you're just like <sighs> it's literally so sudden but it makes the book impact you so much more and that's what happened when I read that I did not expect it Oh, that's not what made me cry though. What made me cry was when you get further along and you find out that those people, them, Johnny, Marine and Gat, the ones she was talking to the next two summers, weren't hallucinations of a broken mind, but actual apparitions of them trying to make her remember what had happened. And it was that, when they left, when they were there like, we're tired. It's taken a lot of strain out of us to stay like this. Please. Well, not please, it was, it's time for us to go. And they just swam off into the sea and dived. That was what made me cry. I had to sit up in bed because I felt the tears in my throat. I felt the tears stinging my eyes. And I was like, I can't do, I can't have myself cry right now. I need to know what happens. Now, what I liked best, I think the best line that I really enjoyed, well I didn't really enjoy it, I just, something about it hits me, is the last four lines. My full name is Candice Sinclair Eastman. I suffer migraines, I do not suffer falls. I like a twist of meaning, I endure. That, it just hits me, it speaks to me in so many ways and I love it. This book, generally, I'm so surprised I liked it and it will go down as one of my favourites, especially standalone. Obviously, these books are on a whole different level. Just, yeah, especially to say they're in a series, but as one of standalone books, this is up there with All the Bright Places and Faulkner Stars and stuff that moved me. And I didn't expect it to, because all the way through it, I didn't understand what was going on. Then that, it just suddenly I realised how emotionally invested I was in the characters. I truly say go check it out. It's so thin and it's so worth it. Please, for the love of all that is holy, read this book. Now what you've got to do now is you've got to like, comment down below on whether you've read it and how you felt and all the book recommendations that really make you think and you know, all the whole shebang. I've said it so many times, hopefully you know it now. And subscribe to this channel. I will remind you again that I do have a Instagram now. It's leahtales underscore books. And 
it will have bookish quotes, it will have pretty pictures that I've taken with little fake leaves that I have all over a book cover, which I've got over 40 posts I think now, and I do really hope that you go check it out because it is to also make you aware of when I've uploaded a video because I will upload the thumbnail of said video onto the Instagram as I upload the actual video, okay? I hope you enjoyed, I love you dearly, and I'm gonna go read a book. Bye guys. <laughs>